Right, today we're going to do our required practical for making a soluble salt. Uh, we'll need some sulfuric acid, you'll need your copper oxide, your heating equipment, conical flask with a funnel on the top, crystallisation disc, a couple of beakers, an evaporating basin, and also your filter paper. Alright, if you're wearing a tie, you should tuck it in, and we should always make sure we're wearing our goggles. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to take our sulfuric acid and we need approximately 40 millilitres. It doesn't need to be too accurate, so you can measure it using the graduations on the side there. Next thing to do is we're going to heat that until it's nearly boiling. So, when you put the heated flame on, we're going to start to heat it. And I'm going to leave it for a few minutes as it starts to heat up. While that's ready, you can get your filter funnel paper. And you can fold it up half and half, like so. And that can quite easily fit inside there. Now right, remember, this is going to get hot, so you should be very careful while that's going. And we're not waiting for it to boil. We look. All right, so it's just about there. And we can turn the Bunsen burner off. Now this will be hot, so be careful. We'll take it off. Next, I'm going to add some copper sulfate, copper oxide. I want me to stir in. I'm going to add. I'm going to keep adding. And this will cause a reaction. So you can think about what kind of reaction you've got there. You've got your metal oxide, reacting with your sulfuric acid to make a salt. So we should think about what type of salt it's making. We should keep adding the copper oxide until it no longer fizzes. And that's some of excess. That's just about done. Okay. So I'm going to stir it with a spatula, or you could stir it with a stirring rod. Put that to the side. <coughs> the next thing you do is you wait for that to cool down, and then, so wait four or five minutes, wait for it to cool down, and then you're going to start to filter off any unreacted copper oxide. Now, when we do this, we don't want to overfill it, we just want to add a little bit at a time. And what you can see is it is filtering down into the uh, conical flask. So again, you can add a little bit. While that's filtering, what you could do is you can get another beaker. Fill that with water. Ready? So it's still going there. What we're going to do then is if you take your evaporating basin, put that on top, and again remember this should have cooled down. So you can put that on there, just check to make sure that's safety flame, which it is. It's still filtering. You'll notice there's lots of unreactive copper oxide in there. That's good. That's what we want. Right. So in the interest of time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off. You can leave it to filter all your solute through. All right. Next, what you do is you take your filtrate Put that on there. And again, I'm going to light our Bunsen burner. Like so, we'll turn it onto a heating flame. And what you want to do is you want to heat this until your solution there starts to boil or bubble. So imagine that it started to bubble, you could turn off 
the uh, Bunsen burner, wait for this to cool, and then we pour this into a crystallization dish, like so, and then we leave that for 24 hours till our crystals are formed. Once our crystals are formed, what we can then do is we can take two pieces of filter paper and we can dry the crystals on the filter paper and we should then 